Cleaning a toilet with a no-touch cleaning system consists of three simple steps. Applying the cleaning solution, pressure rinsing, and then blow drying if desired. Before cleaning the toilets, ensure that any seats are placed in the down position and that all toilets in the restroom are flushed. First, you'll apply cleaning solution to the toilet through the system's automated chemical injector. To begin, turn the chemical valve to the on position and turn on the pump. To activate the chemical flow, pull out the gun spray nozzle for low pressure and rotate it to the right for a pinpoint spray. It'll take about 10 or 15 seconds for the chemical to make its way through the hose to the gun. So spray into a toilet or drain until the chemical is seen and then rotate the nozzle slowly to the left for a fan spray. Use a sweeping motion to cover the fixture from the top down. Begin with the toilet tank or the chrome pipe and proceed to the top of the seat. Then, apply chemical inside the toilet bowl. Next, in a sweeping motion, apply chemical to the underside of the toilet bowl, making sure cleaning chemical is applied between the toilet seat and the rim of the toilet bowl. Be careful not to use too much solution during this step. The entire chemical injection process should take only seven seconds per toilet. The next step is to pressure rinse the fixture. This step is performed after cleaning solution has been applied to all fixtures. Turn the chemical switch to the off position, then rinse the chemicals out of the line and onto the floor to make good use of the remaining chemical. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds to clear the line. Always purge the chemicals in low pressure mode to avoid aerosolizing the chemicals. Place the spray gun in high pressure mode by pulling the nozzle back and rotating for a pinpoint spray. Pressure rinse the toilet in a top-down manner, beginning with the toilet tank or the chrome inlet pipe. Then, rinse the toilet seat top, lift the seat, and rinse the underside of the toilet seat and seat hinges. Next, perform the rim shot and slam dunk to clean the inside of the toilet bowl. For the rim shot, place the tip of the spray gun on the underside of the toilet ring and spray to clean the underside of the toilet bowl. Then, for what we call the slam dunk, point the spray gun straight down into the toilet bowl and scour the inside of the bowl from a distance of three to four inches above the water. After the slam dunk, continue downward, cleaning the underside of the toilet. Pressure washing a toilet should take no longer than 30 seconds. Once all fixtures in the restroom have been rinsed, return to the machine and turn the pump switch off. Point the gun down and squeeze the trigger to relieve any water pressure still in the line. Lock the safety and set the gun aside. If the restroom will be reopened for immediate use, it's good practice to blow dry the fixture. To blow dry a toilet, attach the blow hose to the outlet on the HEPA filter and attach the blow nozzle to the hose. Disconnect the vac inlet hose on the top of the machine and turn the vac motor on. Blow dry the toilet in a top-down motion, beginning with the toilet tank or the chrome inlet pipe. With the blow nozzle facing away from the toilet bowl, blow dry the top of the seat, being careful not to point the nozzle directly into the toilet bowl. Then, lift the seat and blow dry the bottom of the toilet seat. For cleaning the floors around the toilet, refer to the floor cleaning video.